Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are working on these two mid-century dressers that I found on the Facebook Marketplace. I got these for a pretty good deal, $50 each. So they are both solid wood, they're walnut, and they are Bassett furniture. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys this project. So the plan for this episode is to first stain the rounded top drawers and then paint the rest of the project midnight blue and then add modern furniture legs and let's not forget to bring the old hardware back to life. Getting started, the first thing I wanted to do was to remove this old paper that was glued to the top drawers. It was actually just this drawer and the top drawer to the tall boy dresser. In this dresser, they actually had some it's like a peel and stick material and it was stuck on there pretty good and dried up so it was hard to peel off so I just took this guy inside later on and peeled it off myself. It took a bit of time that's for sure. Anyways let's get this project going. I'm gonna move the furniture to an appropriate place where I can actually get at it to paint, clean, and remove the drawers so let's get started. It's always good to wipe your furniture down before you get started. You can use a variety of products, but in this project, I'm just using warm water and a rag. And I'll take the drawers out too, and we'll wipe up as much dust as we can. After some cleaning, we can get started on removing all the hardware. Since we're dealing with two pretty large dressers here, it did take me some time, and plus some were corroded, so that wasn't fun either. I'm using 180 grit sanding paper here with my random orbital sander. So for the bottom drawers, I am just painting so we don't need to remove all the old surface, but I'm just sanding until everything is smooth to touch so you don't see any dents in the paint. And the top rounded drawers, I will be sanding directly down to the bare wood so we can stain them and make them look as good as possible. You can see that the dresser top is in rough shape there's a lot of scratches throughout so i'm sanding right down to the bare wood here so it's super smooth when we paint over it i did use a 120 grit sanding paper on the top of the tables and then finish with a 180 just to help get down through that old finish quicker and of course i did the same thing to the other dresser after sanding the tops, it was still a little bit cloudy in there, but uh, what I'm doing here is getting ready to frame the bottom for new hairpin legs on this piece of furniture. All I'm doing is putting in two by three pieces of lumber here, and it's just a wide enough piece of wood that I can drill in the new legs for the piece. Just to quickly explain what I'm doing, I'm pre-drilling into the side of the dresser first, and then I grab my two by three and I pre-drill holding the piece of wood where I want it to be, just with the first one, and then I put the screw in, and then for the second screw, I pre-drill first, and then I put the second screw in, if that makes any sense at all. I think the visual representation will probably give a better idea of what to do than me explaining it with words, so good luck on this part. <laughs> Of course I did this to both sides of the dresser and also to both of the dressers. So now they're both ready for some hairpin legs and we will throw them on when we're done painting and everything. After finishing up and having everything screwed in we don't want to see those screw holes so we're going to fill them up with some wood filler and let them dry and sand them smooth. After letting everything dry, I grabbed my new mouse detail sander and started sanding everything smooth over the wood filler and then I sanded the rest of the dressers so we can get ready to prime. After letting all the dust sit, I came back with a lightly damp rag and began wiping up the thick layer of dust on all the furniture. 
After cleaning up everything, I decided to throw up a plastic drop cloth just so I didn't get any dust on my project when I'm painting. So I'm using Bin 2 Elkid Base Primer. It's not the shellac base primer, but I don't really need the shellac base for this uh, project. It can't be cleaned up using water, so I don't want to mess with mineral spirits and all that, so I threw it in a tinfoil covered paint tray. So let's get started on our only coat of primer. I decided to roll this stuff on because it would take forever with a brush and if I sprayed it, it would just make a mess. So I just thought rolling it would be the, the smartest way to throw this stuff on. After fully priming the piece and letting the primer dry, I am using a 220 grit sanding sponge just to make sure I get rid of all the, the texture from the, from the roller. So I'm using Bear Ultra Scuff Defense paint in a midnight blue. This is Bear's top rated paint online, so let's see how it works. I'm using a brush to apply this paint and I'm applying multiple thin coats with the brush and that's what my buddy that shabby guy does and let me tell you it comes out brush stroke free all the time I'm using Bear Thane's classic wood stain in early American Pretty much the same as the Minwax wood stain. I am simply applying this with a clean lint free rag. Just dab some on the rag and rub it all over the, the wood. Go with the wood grain, I think that, uh, that helps a nice bit. I don't know what it is, but I think my favorite part is applying wood stain to natural wood and just seeing what pattern comes out in the wood. And I must say I'm happy, I'm impressed with with this long drawer here. I think uh, the wood grain that came out was beautiful. After about five minutes of letting the wood stain penetrate into the wood, I just take a clean and free rag and just wipe the excess stain off the uh, surface. After the first coat dries, I use my 220 grit sanding sponge all over the painted surface and just make everything as smooth as possible until the next coat. For the second and third coat, I did mix some water in the paint just because it was drying rather quickly as I was brushing, so this will just help keep everything uh, smooth. It helps glide the brush easier so you don't get a rough surface when it dries. After applying three coats of my bare midnight blue paint, I'm using a polycrylic minwax finish and I'm going to be spraying this on with my Wagner Flexio 590. You should always, and I always do, a test run on the wall. Just throw up some cardboard or paper or something and just make sure your gun is spraying how you want it. So right now I'm actually spraying this on setting 5 with the Wagner Flexio 590 and the amount coming out is very low. Comparing to the last time I sprayed polycrylic in my last video, uh, I must say this time went a lot smoother. I did add a tiny bit of water to the polycrylic and for some reason it just seemed a lot better this time around. I sprayed three coats of polycrylic over the painted areas and for the stained roars I just used a Rust-Oleum spray can uh, matte clear finish and that worked perfect.
Now I'm using Barkeeper's Friend to clean up the old hardware. As you can see, the before and afters there, it uh, does pretty well. I actually saw this trick in my new friend Katie Scott, salvaged by Katie Scott's video in her trash to treasure mid mod dresser. So what I'm doing is dipping the hardware directly in the water and then I apply Barkeeper's Friend just all over the damp, damp hardware. And when I'm done with that, I grab a clean rag and just dip it in some water and then I just scrub the hardware with the Barkeeper's Friend. Make sure you get some, some of the product on there and it really helps rub it off. The hardware I'm cleaning is extremely dirty and it took a lot of rubbing uh, around the edges here, especially with the odd shape and I also had 18 pieces of hardware to clean so yeah, it did take some time. I did wear gloves for the remaining hardware. Anyways, I did pop these little metal protectors off the bottom just before we install the new hairpin legs. I'm using a drill just to make things a little bit quicker here to install these hairpin legs. So glad that I installed a new frame on bottom. Just gives me a little bit more room to uh, screw these in and they're a lot sturdier than what they would be if they were just in that little tiny thin layer of wood there. Now let's go back here and take a look at these dressers before we started. Now let's look at the final product. Alright, all that's left is to stage the furniture, get some decent photos, and we'll throw these guys up online and hopefully we can sell them quick. If you want to see those final photos, I'll have them posted on my Instagram. There's a link in the description below. Don't forget to follow me there. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't yet. And don't worry, there's more furniture flips coming your way.